Hi, this is Justin from scalemodelscenery.co.uk. Uh, welcome to video blog number 10. I feel like one of the two Ronnies sat here, actually. I'm sat at my desk now. Just need a pair of what's it glasses. Um, not I've done a video for a couple of weeks, really. Been a bit busy. As you may know from the newsletter, we've had problems with the big laser cutter, uh, which got fixed last week, and that's now back up and running properly. Um, and then the small cutter started playing up middle of the week, part way through jobs. Um, so that started giving us grief, so we've now taken out extended warranties on them and got an engineer coming again next week uh, to come and fix this more one. So we've been a bit sort of chaotic trying to get um, orders and things out. And also had problems with, because we've been, we were very busy with it um, at the end of April, beginning of May, with the voucher off we had. So we had to, we were cutting far more stuff than we normally do, which has brought up other issues with the lasers in terms of the extraction side of things, which again I mentioned in the newsletter on Wednesday. Um, when you cut MDF uh, laser board and stuff like that, the dust and the sat and the uh, resins out of the material um, clog the filters up really quickly in the extractor unit. So I'm looking at um, replacing that with an out-to-air system, which will allow us, well, which saves us a lot of money, put it that way, and we can invest in uh, invest that money back in some into some different equipment. Uh, so I've been sort of tearing my hair out a bit with that and uh, trying to come up with solutions for various things as far as that's concerned. Uh, so that's taken up quite a bit of time. But I have been working on a few new things and a few things we've not shown in the newsletter and one of which I've just realised I can't find, uh, which was on my desk but has vanished completely. Um, nope, don't know where it's gone. Anyway, uh, we released these last week, which is the double O gauge church pews which quite a lot of people were asking for. That's the first prototype is the finished version with a better fitting back. As you can see, the back goes all the way down on that one. Um, that's LX114, uh, fully engraved on both ends, got lots of detail on, on, the, on the back as well. So they're ideal for detailing inside a church, the Metcalf, uh, super quick, a Scousing's church, fit any of them to be honest. So that's those, LX114s. Um, we also, as you saw, probably seen in the newsletter, released lots and lots of different wagon loads and lorry loads. We've got the wrapped timber loads. I can't remember the numbers of these. It's AX30 something. Can't remember exactly which ones they are now. We've done that many of them and uh, lost track, to be honest. Um, they're the wrapped timber loads. We did the uh, palletized insulation boards. These look like cell Celotex. That's the idea with these little stacks of Celotex. So with these and the various other timber bits and bobs that we did, these ones we did the other week, you've got enough to sort of detail a builder's yard or a construction site, things like that. Um, what we've also done, which is the bit I can't find, uh, because I don't know where I've put it and it's that small anyway, I did this morning do the prototype for the N-gauge church pews. Obviously they're half the size of these and it worked out okay actually. Um, I did. I might have put it in the other office. I think Tina might have. Oh, I took it in there to show Tina. Um, but they're now available as well. The Engage Pew. So they're LX114 uh, N for those. Um, again, ten in a pack, just like the double O gauge ones, and they're priced at four ninety nine. I think. Um, also, last week we released these um, sort of more period wagon loads, if you like, um, just some packing cases. I've got lots of new designs for these as well. Different different styles of these. So this is the f these are the first two. LX112 I think is that one and LX113 is that one I think um, and then this week I've not had a great deal of time to play with much stuff but I uh, have done these which again quite a lot of people were asking for little roof details um, these are gooseneck roof vents used on air conditioning dust extraction and things like that um, so we've done those for detail in the tops of uh, industrial buildings. We've got a, little, a nice uh, sort of galvanised metal finish, a little grill on the front there. Ever so easy to build, MDF cores again, just like the other accessories we've been doing recently. Take just a couple of minutes out each one. Um, and I've also coloured the edges on the paper as I've, when I've assembled it, just to color, cover the white edges up. Um, but they're minimal anyway, you don't need to colour them if you don't want to. Uh, so they're now available, they're AX037, those ones, and they come in a pack of 12. Um, but they're, so they're brilliant, just literally a few minutes and stick them to the top of your buildings, job done. Um, but what I've also been playing with, and this is what I spent most of the day doing today, it doesn't look much, but um, a long time ago, you might remember we did uh, pre-cut self-adhesive road markings um, before we did the road marking stencils. 
They used to drive me potty, to be quite honest, doing them on a little vinyl cutter, because nine times out of ten we'd get halfway through a sheet and the blade would go blunt, and then it would snag on a part of the vinyl and it would rip the sheet and I'd start again. Anyway, uh, after a very long search, I've managed to find some laser compatible vinyl. Um, it con doesn't contain PVC. Uh, if we laser cut PVC based products, it releases hydrochloric acid, which is pretty awful stuff and it will eat the innards of the laser and also the innards of our lungs and everything else when we produce them, which isn't good. Um, so we've managed to find some PVC free vinyl, which is completely eco-friendly. Um, I'm not sure it's biodegradable, but it doesn't harm the atmosphere or the environment in any way, shape or form. Um, and it's got eco-friendly adhesive on it as well. So it sort of ticks all the boxes as far as that's concerned and I'm much happier working with that. So I've been playing around uh, lasering that today and a few, well, a few attempts really this, this week since the sample turned up. We can get quite detailed with it, that's a little, little Volkswagen sign, I was just trying some random things to see how well it cut. That's a little Volkswagen, sign, a Volkswagen logo there and then I've been playing around with the double O scale uh, road markings. In theory we may be able to do N gauge ones but again I'll have to, I'll have, to have a look. Um, and see, I'll have to do some more tests. But the double O gauge ones have worked out well. You can get them, get the uh, the yellow and white lines to go around a bend really easily. I've done some tests somewhere, um, I've taken them sort of around S bends and things like that. Uh, probably slightly easier to use than the stencils that we do, um, but obviously these are self adhesive, so they don't have a weathered finish, which is the benefit of the stencils. Um, so you've got a bit of a trade off. You've either got these really easy to use, or the stencils a bit, bit more difficult, but you get a, a weathered finish with those. So hopefully, next week, perhaps maybe the week after, we can re-release these. Um, I just need to do some more experimentation with um, the adhesives on it and just make sure that they do stick down well enough and you know don't peel up too easy. In theory, it's semi-permanent adhesive, so they may be repositionable, um, but if left for a while, they'll obviously stick in place and job done. I think the adhesive's guaranteed for five years, so that should be plenty for. Um, most layouts and dioramas and in fact it will probably last way longer than that anyway. So that's what we've been up to. Um, next week hopefully I can get these done as I say and I want to get on with some bigger projects next week as well. Uh, we've got time so once the small lasers are fi fixed on Monday I've got a chap coming to see me about um, sorting out an out to air extractor for, for the big cutter on Tuesday. Um, hopefully he won't be here too long but we can sort us out with um, some sort of system for that. Then I can get on with some decent projects at last. Um, I've done lots of accessories and things. It'd be nice to get on with some big stuff. So anyway, thanks for watching. I've waffled on for long enough. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.